What is up guys, it's your boy here, Jersey Flex. In today's video, I'm gonna be discussing my personal review and my personal experience on Anavar. As you guys can see by the title of this video, I'm going to be telling you guys everything that I personally experienced while taking this compound, running it at 25 to 32 and a half milligrams a day, which is a pretty small dose. Some guys run it at 50 to 100. But um, go down, crush that subscribe button if you're new to this channel. Thanks for supporting this channel. Thanks for finding this channel. And thanks to anybody that is a returning subscriber and has been watching this content from the beginning. Can't emphasize enough how much I appreciate you guys. So we're gonna roll that intro. Stop wasting time and get started on this video because you guys wanna know what I experienced on Anavar. So let's roll that intro. Boom. Maybe it's a new beginning. What's up, what's up, what's up guys? As you guys saw from that intro, and I say this in every single video that I make, I am not a doctor, I'm not a medical practitioner, in no way, shape, or form am I involved in the medical or healthcare industry, so any of these videos are strictly made for entertainment purposes only. Um, I do put a disclaimer at the end of every single intro to let you guys know and reinforce the fact that this is just for education and for entertainment only, so, um, those of you guys who do know, I started running Anavar during my contest prep. I started at a really small dose, uh, 12 and a half. Um, and again, I'm not promoting the usage of any of these things. These things are at your own risk. These things are illegal, uh, you know, so contact your doctor. Uh, I'm not promoting the usage. This is only for education. But I started at 12 and a half milligrams daily, uh, just to kind of see where that felt like. And for those of you guys who do know, Anavar has a nine hour half-life. So it stays in your system for nine hours. A lot of people like to dose it throughout the day, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. So that way it stays in your system for like the entire day kind of thing. And it has an anabolic effect throughout the day. Um, so I was taking 12 and a half in the morning uh, and just doing that. Once I realized that I like how it felt, I was also taking it as a pre-workout in the afternoon. So in total, 25 milligrams daily. Then from there, I bumped it up to 32 and a half um, daily with uh, 12 and a half in the morning and 25 before a workout. Um, sorry, I, I think that puts me at 37 and a half. Didn't do my math right there, whatever. But uh, I was taking that daily rather than 50. I felt like 50 would have been a little bit too much for me. Um, I've never taken 50 in a day. But my honest review on Anavar, let's talk about muscle building. So in terms of muscle building, I noticed that I gained about three to five pounds in the ballpark range of uh, quality muscle. And the reason I'm saying quality muscle is because there's a lot of compounds out there, like testosterone for instance. Testosterone will make you gain a lot of water weight alongside with muscle tissue um, due to the aromatization. D-ball uh, as well, Dianabol is known for water weight, uh, gyno, <laughs> aromatization, things like that. So Anavar is very limited to uh, water weight gaining being that it's a DHT derivative, dehydrotestosterone. You're not going to experience any... Um, water weight gains so any gains you do make if you're running anavar is going to be strictly lean muscle tissue so that is why it's a really good compound to run it's got minimal androgenic side effects you're not just going to get like a deep voice from it and that is why women like to take it as bikini competitors so um me personally i did notice a lot of strength gains and let me tell you the quality muscle gains and the strength gains were nuts um, it definitely gave me insane pumps in the gym. That's why it's great as a pre-workout or a kickstarter to a harsher steroid cycle. So that being said, from your first dose, you're going to notice that you feel it almost initially, like within the first hour or two, you're going to feel it. And for me personally, I felt like my skin got like really hot and 
I got a little paranoid because I, I, I was like, what's going on? Maybe I'm having like adverse effects or something like that. But then when I got to the gym, I got out of my head, got rid of the anxiety or whatever was coming from it just from first time usage. I had probably one of the greatest pumps, one of the greatest workouts of my life. So when people say that Anavar gives you great pumps, it definitely does. I don't want to undermine the fact that the pumps on it are absolutely insane because they are. Um, great pumps, great pumps. Definitely got to add that to my results. So I went from weighing in at like, I would say 185 pounds to weighing at 190 ish. So it definitely made me increase mass. And the reason why I know that it was quality muscle tissue is because I didn't get bulky. I didn't gain any kind of like fat tissue. It wasn't water weight. It was solid muscle. My strength went up and I still remained just as lean and I could tell because I was in contest prep. So for those of you guys out there that kind of say that it's impossible to put on lean muscle tissue during a caloric deficit, especially in contest prep or when you're leaning out, you're definitely wrong. It is possible, it is doable. But is it doable naturally? I don't know, unless there's a drastic lifestyle change. Uh, I really think that you do need to incorporate anabolics unfortunately to achieve that goal. So my review, my personal experience on it, I gained three to five pounds of muscle tissue, got insane pumps, and libido, bedroom. Uh, you guys got to remember, this is a hormone. Uh, it definitely enhanced or made a little worse my excitements. We'll just leave it at that because this is YouTube and I don't want to say anything too derogatory. Uh, and also DHT, dehydrotestosterone, is essential for reproductive function. So it's definitely going to get you excited. And we'll just leave it at that. Um, do I recommend it? And let, let, let's talk about like side effects. Okay, so there are compounds that I've ran where I've experienced certain breakouts on my back, you know, in terms of acne and things like that. Did not experience that with um, Anavar uh, at all. And some of you guys may be saying, okay, DHT, dehydrotestosterone, that's responsible for attacking hair follicles. So DHT is the primary hormone that attacks your hair follicles and can make you go bald. Uh, Anavar is not so harsh. Uh, things like Masteron and Winstrol, which is like straight DHT, will make you lose hair. Uh, there was a point in time when I was running Anavar where I got a really bad haircut. I mean like butch which is fucked. The guy like really screwed up my hairdo. Um, and I got a little paranoid thinking that I was like losing my hair, but that was like all in my head just because I had a really bad barber at that time, really screwed up my haircut. Nothing went wrong with that, but um, so yeah, minimal side effects. That's why like it's recommended if women are going to take anything to do that. It is a bronchiodilator, so it helps with your respiratory system. It will help you uh, in terms of running better, you're gonna breathe better, things like that. I did experience it. I was doing cardio a little bit with more ease, good pumps, quality muscle gains. It's not gonna make you gain an insane amount of muscle, like 15 to 20 pounds in one month, like D-ball would, but it definitely gave me gains, quality gains, and maintained a hard, dry look due to the fact that it did not make me gain water. That basically sums up my experience on it. Also, I may add, there was no mood changes. It wasn't like the trend experience I had where I kind of acted like an idiot. Did not change my personality in any kind of way. I was still myself, didn't react funny. And that basically sums up this review. Uh, short and sweet, basically summed up everything I experienced on Anavar. I hope this video was helpful. Go down, crush that subscribe button like I always say. And until next time, let's roll that freaking outro video, guys. Boom. Yeah!